Hi everybody, I'm Chad. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna have some rhymes, gonna have some fun, and hear some cool stories about digging and construction and trucks and rumbling, all sorts of stuff like that. So stick around and story time's coming up next. All right, so let's get into our first story which is called digger sores. Maybe you've heard, you've, I'm sure you've heard of dinosaurs and maybe things that dig, but have you ever heard of a digger sore? Well, let's find out. And this story is written by Michael Wait. What's bigger than a digger? Bigger than a dinosaur? Digger sores are bigger. <laughs> digger sores dig with bites so big <coughs> Each scoop creates a crater. Do you know what a crater is? It's a big hole. And they have lots of them up on the moon, too. They're tough and strong with necks so long, kerlunk. They're super excavators. This one is an excavator saurus. With cheery smiles, they dump huge piles of rubble off their back. Rumble. They shake around and break the ground. Don't fall into the cracks. Oh, this is the Breakersaurus. They smash down walls with wrecking balls and make themselves all dusty. Honk, honk, crash. They crunch and munch old cars for lunch. Their favorite ones are rusty. Ugh. Crunch. Yuck. I don't want to eat what the Grabosaurus eats. They really love to push and shove massive amounts of rocks. Scrape. They pack and lift and stack and shift. Jug, jug, jug. And build tall tower blocks. With spiky scales and pointy tails, they spin and drill deep holes. <laughs> Goes the Drillersaurus. There won't be lumps or humps or bumps wherever this one rolls. Toot toot. That's the Rollersaurus, and he's flattening everything out. This one feeds on plants and weeds. Nom, 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 and mows the grass so green. Maybe you've seen a lawnmower before. That's what they do. They num num munch on the grass. This one is beeping and brushing and sweeping. Beep beep. Keeping all things clean. And that's the sweeper saurus. There's nothing bigger than a digger sore. All together, hear them roar. <laughs> They make all sorts of fun and funny noises while they all go about their work. And that is the digger sores. You may have noticed a bunch of words in that story rhymed. And rhyming is when two words sound alike, like hop and pop. So we're going to head over and hear from Miss Taylor, who's got a fun rhyme time segment for us. Hey everybody, this is Taylor with the Marathon County Public Library here for a fun rhyme. So let's come along and pound some nails to go along with our construction stories. So we're gonna start with five fingers because we have five nails here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is how our rhyme goes, ready? Five little nails standing straight and steady. Here I come with my hammer ready. Bam, bam, bam. One goes down. Now there's four left to pound. So now we have four. Four little nails standing straight and steady. Here I come with my hammer ready. Ready, we're gonna pound. Bam, bam, bam. That one goes down. Now there's three nails left to pound. Ready, here we go. Three nails standing straight and steady. Here I come with my hammer ready. 
bam, bam, bam. That one goes down. Now there's only two left to pound. Two little nails standing straight and steady. Here I come with my hammer ready. Bam, bam, bam. Down that one goes. Only one nail left to pound. Okay, here we go, last one. One little nail stand, standing straight and steady. Here I come with my hammer ready. Bam, bam, bam. That one goes down. Now there's no nails left to pound. Just our hammer ready. Okay, so that was our rhyme time called Five Little Nails. So now we're gonna go back to Chad and hear another story. Thank you so much, Taylor. That was a lot of fun and hope you all heard some fun rhymes. So our next story today is by Sharice Miracle Harper and it's called Go, 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 Stop. Let's see what this one is all about. One day, Little Green said a word. It was his first word he had never spoken before. The word was go. He liked how it sounded. He practiced it quiet, go. Then medium, go. And finally, very, very loud, go! It was exciting to have a new word. Little Green couldn't wait to share it. He bounced into town, jumped to a high place, and shouted it for everyone to hear, go! It was perfect timing. Nap time was just ending. Bulldozer was the first to wake up. I'm going to surprise dump truck, he said, and he pushed his load of dirt to the top of the hill. Soon, everyone was awake and busy working on the new bridge, lifting and carrying and pulling and scooping and driving and mixing and holding. Go, 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 shouted Little Green. Tow truck towed terrifically. Crane carried carefully. Dump truck dumped dependably. Mixer mixed marvelously. And backhoe waved his long arms in the air. The more Little Green shouted, go, 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 the faster everyone moved. But then everything got a little crazy. No one knew what to do. See, they're all bunched up because everybody's going and going and they kind of ran into each other here, it looks like. Little Green tried a whisper, go, hoping it would slow things down. But it only made things worse and everyone kept going. Suddenly, a stranger rolled into town. He looked here, he looked there, and then he jumped to a high place and shouted out the only word he knew, STOP! It was just what everyone needed to rest and get organized. Little Green and Little Red were the exact opposites. Go, stop, stop, go, go, stop, stop, go. But they tried working together. It wasn't easy. Go, 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 stop. <whistles> ah, get off me. Sorry, too much go. It wasn't fast. Go, stop, 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 stop. <whistles> but they finally found it. Go, 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 stop. It was the perfect amount of go and stop to get things done. Little Green and Little Red liked working together and they were good at it. The new bridge was finished just on time. Everyone was excited. Go, shouted Little Green and the cars raced across the bridge. Then Little Yellow slid into town. He had something to say. Slow down. They were the perfect words for a busy bridge. And you don't always see little green and little red and little yellow on a bridge either. You see them all over the place on every street, almost every street, as you're driving around. So that's go, 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 stop. All right, our last story for today 
all about construction and digging and going, 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 and all sorts of work outside it is called Digger Dog. And it's called, or it's written, excuse me, by William B. and illustrated by Cecilia Johansson. So let's learn about Digger Dog. This is Digger Dog. Digger Dog loves to dig, especially for bones. First, he finds them using his nose. <laughs> Digger Dog's got the scent of something. Something big. Then, Digger Dog starts to dig, 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 dig. But the ground is too hard and the bone is too deep. So Digger Dog goes and gets a little digger so he can dig deeper and quicker. We've seen one of those before. I believe that's a Diggersaurus. But the ground is still too hard and the bone is still too deep. So Digger Dog goes and gets a bigger digger so he can dig deeper and quicker. Dig, dig, dig. But the ground is still too hard and the bone is still too deep. So Digger Dog goes and gets a much bigger digger so he can dig deeper and quicker. But guess what? Yeah, the ground is still too hard and the bone is still too deep. Will Digger Dog ever reach that big, big bone? Digger Dog goes and gets the biggest digger he can find. The biggest digger in the whole world. And the biggest digger in the whole world spits and snorts and rumbles and shakes and digs and sure enough, after a lot of digging and a lot of rumbling and shaking, did they, did they, did they? The world's biggest digger digs up the world's biggest bone. Or is it? Oh, look at all those huge bones that that huge, huge digger dug up. Wow. You know, I have a couple of dogs and they've never used anything to dig except their own front paws, but they really like that too. So that's all of our stories today. And thanks again to Taylor for Rhyme Time. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.